Hi, my name is Janelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful blessed day. I hope you are safe and healthy wherever you are. My son says hi. Um, today's video will be a haul. I know I said I would post the rest of my Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, so I have those items. Make a quick disclaimer. I want to make a quick, quick disclaimer. I want to make a quick disclaimer, um, I am no way like bragging or trying to convince you to buy these products. I know this is a very hard time for us all and a lot of people don't have the extra money to spend. Um, this is just me and my personal decision to shop during this time and make purchases. Like, I need it for normalcy, like to feel like nothing has changed. Like, I can still online shop, and I have been wearing makeup seven days a week. It just helps me have a routine, have a sense of normalcy. So, that's why I'm putting on makeup every day. That's why I continue to buy makeup. I do have a job. I have been working from home um, ever since spring break let out. Since then, I've been home. I think that was, like, March not even the second week of march yeah if you cannot afford it do not go out and buy these things don't feel the need to have the latest and the greatest um i just want to show you guys what i personally bought with my own money and put some content out there for you guys i know some people are bored at home and they want to feel that normalcy and continue to see makeup videos um from different creators so that's what i'm doing here let's get into the video from Ultra's 21 Days of Beauty, I did finally receive my Cover FX um, bronzer and two blush duos. This one is Pink Dahlia. I got Soft Peach. And for the bronzer, I got Sunkiss Bronze. So these were the shades that I got. I'll show you what they look like. So they look like um, bars of soap, and I got three here. So um, this one is Pink Dahlia, and I got this partially because my daughter's name is Dahlia, so it goes with who I am, it's part of my life, so I had to have it. It looks a lot deeper in person than what they look like online, I thought this was going to be like a soft baby pink. But it looks like what I have on today, but I have a toothpaste brush on. But I will swatch it because, you know, it could look completely different on my skin. Here is the bronzer and Sunkissed Bronze. It looks pretty dark, but I hear a lot of people raving, people that are my skin tone, people that are lighter. So I think this is promising. Here is the blush in Soft Peach. Looks a lot darker like I said. I was anticipating this. This is the lightest shade too. I was anticipating this to be way lighter. But I'll give you swatches of the blushes. So here are the blushes side by side. Soft Peach and Pink Dahlia. So I'll uh, swatch Soft Peach first. And then Pink Dahlia. So here is the matte side. And then I will do the shimmery side. This is the... Now I'll switch the pink Dahlia. That's a very gorgeous. I can see this being my favorite. So this is the um, shimmer, and then this is the matte on the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that. I kind of did awkward swatches, but I hope that's helpful. And I guess I can swatch the bronzer on the back of my hand, so it won't be hard to see on my wrist. So this is what the bronzer looks like. This looks very nice. I like the same tone. This one is just more um, shimmery. 
So I cannot wait to put this on. I haven't tried um, the blush or the bronzers. They had just been sitting here since I got them. And that was maybe like over a week ago, maybe two weeks at this point. And that looks good. This one looks a lot more warmer. This one looks a lot more cold sound, but who knows what it'll look like on the face. I cannot wait to jump in and play with these. Um, so yeah, I will be using those very soon. I'm very happy with my purchase. And then I did get the Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm almost out of the one that I'm currently using. So this is just a repurchase. Um, I won't bust into this one because I don't want to open it, get air into it, all that jazz, touch it, swatch it. So I'm pretty sure you all know what this looks like. So next I have my BoxyCharm add-on order. So this was a FOMO box from April 2019. And I bought it because it had my favorite moisturizer in it ever. And of course it doesn't hurt to have some extra goodies. And this was $21. Um, so I thought it was a great deal. The whole reason I bought it was for this It Cosmetics um, Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. It's the moisturizer that I use. I love this one and I love the Sunday Riley one. The Sunday Riley one's like 65. I believe this one's like 35, 40, somewhere around there. So for $21, get this in goodies is a good deal to me. The next thing that came in the box was this um, Liquid Illuminating Drops, the Dew Dreamer. In the shade Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. I do have the powder version of this. I went through a whole um, powder version. So I'm glad to have this in my life. I have been um, wanting to dabble more into cream products and stuff like that. So I think this will be a good way to dive in. And then of course these are like more intense. They're not like your um, very natural looking makeup. So for that very highlighted um, intense effect I think this is perfect. Here is what the um, illuminator looks like, and it has a dropper, and I'll give you a swatch, it's very liquidy as you can see, do you see how metallic that is, and then I'll blend it out for you here, just catches the light very nicely. These are my skin tone. I guess we can add a little bit of this. I do have one powder highlight here. But, um, we'll just amplify it a little bit. And sorry about my eye makeup. Like, I've been growing my eyebrows out during quarantine, as you can see. And then today I tried the, the foxy eye um, trend that's going around. And I feel like. You can see where my real eyebrows are going down and the eyebrows that I put on are going this way. But I did try to follow the like shape, the technique, the whole eyeliner thing. I was going to put on some um, like corner lashes on the outside but I said for what? It's so hard to take off eyelash glue. Um, don't want to have to use the oil based um, makeup remover and then for what? We're just staying inside. No one's going to see me. Um, so, yeah, I think this is very pretty, and I like how it's going over my makeup pretty well. I don't see my makeup underneath, like, coming off or anything, so, this is a one in my book. And now that summer's approaching, this type of gold looks really good on me in the summer when I get a tan. So, I use it very sparingly, and... So far, so good. The next thing that came in this box is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick. And it's in the shade Sanctuary. I no longer buy from um, Kat Von D or it's now KBD Beauty. I don't know if I ever will. Now that she's not associated with the brand, I have to really um, think and ponder on that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I got it in my box. I'm going to use it because... Um, I already paid for it. <laughs> I already paid for it, so might as well get some use on it. It's not something I would pass on to my daughter or anything like that. I usually pass on makeup that I know won't work for me to her, so she can play with. Or if it's like gently used, gently used makeup that I um, bought and didn't, I didn't find use for. It. I give it to family members who I know can use it, especially when things are not my color. I have 
are members who are lighter than me, family members who are um, deeper than my skin tone. So I know um, those products can work for them. But for like lip colors and stuff like that, I usually pass them on to my daughter because she likes to play with different colors. Um, but for this liquid lipstick, I, I will be keeping it. I already swatched it. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what the liquid lipstick looks like. And I said that it's in the shade um, Sanctuary. And then I'll give you a swatch up here. So it's like this grazy color. And I heard this is the dupe for... I forget the name of that very famous Maybelline um, grazy lipstick. Um, it's a dupe for that. Or this, or that's a dupe for this. Uh, I, ha I don't own the Maybelline one. Maybelline's not cruelty free either. Um, well, this one is um, vegan and cruelty free. But um, <laughs> this color... <laughs> I don't have anything like this color, so it'll be nice to have for the fall or when I want that type of look, like bare minimum on the eye, lashes, and this lip. I think it will look very nice. And the last thing that came in the box was this Bang Beauty, um, I think it's a cream gel eyeliner. I forget the shade. Um, I'm not going to open it. I've owned this before for my 2019 April uh, boxy charm, and I don't think I liked it. I decluttered it right away. I don't remember what my thoughts were on it. Maybe it was the color, maybe it was the texture. I don't know. Um, but I will be passing this along either in a giveaway or to a family member. So it's not you. So I feel comfortable giving it to someone. That was everything that was in the box. Now let's um, talk about the products that I um, actually purchased that weren't within the box. All these products that I just mentioned were in the box for $21. Now we're talking about things that are were sold individually that I also bought. So I did buy two hourglass um, blushes and I have the shade, what shade is this? Ethereal Glow and I also have the shade Dim Infusion. So I did receive one of their hourglass blushes and a, um, is it their February premium box? And then I do own um two of the holiday palettes the ones that are about this big and they have like six different powders in them i think one of them has like three blushes and then the other palette has like two blushes or it might have had three and i think i used one up i don't remember but but i do enjoy their formula so i did pick up two more these were 12 dollars each when originally these are usually 40 so let me show you the colors and swatches so this is what the packaging looks like very binding um and i have mine in dim fusion which is like this it looks pinky but i believe it's more corally when i swatched it mixed in with like this lighter color and then we have ethereal glow which is mostly this white with a little bit of this purple mauvey color mixed in so i will give you swatches and then they're baked so they feel a little bit drier but they go on very smooth and luminous on the skin. So these are the swatches. This one's Dim Infusion and Ethereal Glow. I guess I'll swatch it down the bottom of my wrist. Like I said, this one's Dim Infusion. It looks kind of pinky corally. I might do a heavier swatch. So that's Dim Infusion, and then I'll swatch the other one here. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can build that swatch up as well. I think I might be too deep for that color right now. Um, we're in spring and summer is approaching here in Texas, and I might have to wear this in the winter. Um, there's more of that white than the purple mixed in but I think maybe to buff out another blush I don't know I just have to try this maybe it looks different on the cheek but as you can see there's a lot of shimmer in there it looks nice it just it looks um, very chalky I don't know how that would translate on my skin tone right now um, but for $12 I think these are still even if I can't find use for this um, which I think I will, like I said, buff out like a deeper blush or something. Um, or even use it as a highlighter because it looks 
like a very nice um, natural glow. I might try that real quick over the Laura Geller just to kind of like calm it down. I don't know if it's going to amp it up. We'll see. What do you guys think? I don't have my brushes in front of me. So I'm just using my finger here. But I think that did kind of lessen the intensity of that golden Laura Geller blush. I mean, highlight. And it's adding like a subtle glow. Like more softer effect. What do you guys think? For $12, even if it doesn't work as a blush, it works like a soft highlight. And I'm happy with that. So I think these were a good purchase for me. And I have one more thing from Boxy Adol to show you. I did purchase this Too Faced Rich and um, Dazzling High Shine Lip Gloss. This was $6 and I had mine in the shade Two Night Stand. And this is what the shade looks like. And it's like this gorgeous pink color. Um, let's see where I can swatch. I guess up here. Sorry for these awkward swatches. I don't want to just put it where you can't see it. But that's gorgeous. I would top it up on my wearing glass. I'm tempted to. Maybe I'll just grab what's in my hand and uh, apply it because I don't want to dirty the applicator. That's pretty. It has a lot more sparkle. So yeah, I'm very happy with this gloss purchase as well. So from Walmart, I did purchase this Elf Glow Radiant Moisturizer. I uh, haven't tried it out, but I'm excited to try it out. Who knows what this holds. Um, I'm just very into skincare right now during the quarantine, so I don't remember how much this costs. Thirteen dollars, somewhere around there. And I also um, purchased their Hydrating <coughs> Camel Concealer, which I haven't tried out yet. I'll let you guys know what I think. And I got mine in the shade Medium Peak. So I picked up this um, formula to see if I like this one better. And then, so this is what Salt Peach looks like. Um, I have another one coming in the mail from Ulta, so we'll see. How that one um, looks. I forgot the shade of that one. But this is soft peach, and I think it'll be more of a skin tone color than a. Um, I think this will be more of a skin tone color more than a highlighting color. So we'll see how that goes. So that was everything for this haul. I do have Glossier coming in the mail. Should be arriving today. And then I do have another Ulta haul and then my Sephora VIB haul. So if you would like to see those, stay tuned. I will post a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Kisses.